de la 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 de la 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 okay, uh, don't really see anyone engaging just a lot of back and forth you see broodmember we're getting sucked in but oh we see some engaging now I have no clue uh, nice uh, ulti by Earthshake nice stun looks like someone's going down oh Pugna picks up another kill nice kill by Lion with his finger uh, great job by uh, Pugna doing a whole bunch of damage and Pugna has been really strong this game he's been doing a ton of damage to a lot of heroes we have uh, a lot of phantom lancers roaming around so if he keeps it us up he's gonna be able to get that tower I think but he doesn't and we see Pugna life stealing his way back to, to almost full HP still some phantom lancer image just about but otherwise that was well protected by the scourge <sighs> Uh, yeah, uh, also, uh, I saw that DotaCommentary.com got some coverage on PlayDota.com uh, with a featured interview of Luminous, so you guys should check that out because it's really interesting and it shows you a bit about. Oh, Rosh kill down, done again, nice. Trog picks up an ace. It tells you a bit about Luminous, the, the, or David Zhang. Zhang, yeah, I think Zhang. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> um, Luminous is a great guy, and he's a absolute pleasure to talk with and co-commentate with. And uh, it's an interesting interview, you should check it out. And... Uh, uh, stop by the DC.com, ch check out the chat, come on TeamSpeak, play some games, uh, chill for a bit. It's a pretty relaxed atmosphere with a lot of nice people, albeit some, somewhat dead at times, but what can you expect? A lot of guys are Americans, and it looks like um, traffic's constantly increasing according to Luminous so I'm really happy about that. Oh we see Phantom Lancer going off again draw, draw Ranger but it looks like nothing special is gonna happen. Draw is taking a lot of damage and that radiance though. Broodmember has been really diligent with keeping his spiders at a high high amount the entire game, which I think is uh, awesome. I usually, I'm usually when I play Broodmember, I'm really diligent at first, but after a while, I just get kind of meh. Oh, nice, nice going by Storm Spirit going in for a kill on the Rasta, but very well done with the Eel Scepter to save himself, but. He got blocked by Pugna, so there's not much he could do. Pugna trying to blast uh, a bit of stuff. But I don't think Pugna will be able to do that much. Pugna picks up and tried to pick up a kill, but it goes to the Drow Ranger. Is he around? Yeah. Oh, the Brood Mother got the kill. He's trying to go for that the darks here but I don't think he's gonna be successful nice vacuum to save himself but looks like they have quite a strong push so they are going to push that bottom tower nope they're not phantom lancer bought out so it doesn't look like they're gonna be pushing so this is a really strong strong game by the scourge team and I think they're gonna be able to pull this off and capture the win Capture Wind sounds really weird and gay. Unless E Home does some weird sick, sick, sick rear turn around. But what I have a hard time with in this game is uh, M who who's the MVP? 
There have been a lot of good plays by a lot of good players. I don't I don't feel like one player is necessarily carrying the entire team. Uh like I do get the feeling how our the Phantom Lancer is pretty much carrying his entire team. But I guess Drow would be filling that function, but I don't know, he doesn't seem that overpowered right now. Although those are really nice items. Oh Phantom Lancer gets off a nice kill, but if she goes down, but will they be able to get anyone else? That is the question. Oh shit, Phantom Lancer pick up a double kill. Phantom Lancer might be the downfall of LGD if they keep this up. Draw Ranger is doing a whole bunch of damage though, and it looks like that Lifesteal is also doing a whole bunch to keep him alive. Looks like he's not gonna make it. Oh, one more hit. No, too bad. Or he is followed by that brood mother, so he could very well face the gank. And there we go. Great job once again by the Scourge team. But we did do see some buybacks. Hmm. I don't know really what to say about this game. It's like it is really interesting though this game because the both teams are playing nigh on flawlessly. I mean, it is really good that way. But the beginning was kind of tantalizing. It's sort of like an M MMA fight. Round one was kind of like usually they probe out each other a bit, just find range, then they start it. Phantom Lancer are doing a whole. Just. He has so many images. It's so annoying. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to commentate non zoom mode anymore. It's so hard. <laughs> oh, Pugna is. Um, taking care of an image. Pugna has an Aghanim Scepter, it looks like, yeah. Oh, look at those wards. Well placed wards. Looks like he's gonna get away, though. Two low HP heroes getting away, uh, but it looks like they're gonna get a tower and probably Rax as well. Draw range go down, but he has Aegis, so we're gonna come right back. It's really hard to see what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, Fork Lightning goes down. Uh, Earthshaker is not is dead. Rasta. Rasta might stay alive, but no, he doesn't. Nicely done by the Pugna, picking up yet another kill. And, um, Trow getting his dominating. Oh, he has a Satanic now. That is... Imba. Drow ha has been absolutely ghost in this game. Like, so pro. Honestly, words that he's unstoppable by now. This is basically GG, I think. Unless they can do some kind of massive, massive, massive turtle strat. Which would be cool, I guess. It would be the Phantom Lancer road that would save them. I feel like the Phantom Lancer is getting outplayed by the Drow Ranger. Hmm, good game. Uh, well played by Scourge and Sentinel, but especially Scourge. Wow, look at that damage from the Draw Ranger on the... Well, everyone, shit, that is insane. We see GG go down, and we see some a bit of levers. Um, so, that was uh, a good game. We see plus 300 damage on the Draw Ranger. What on earth? Uh, quite insane play by everyone, and uh, a good game, without a doubt. And I hope to be doing some more ESVC, ESWC games because I'm really happy that they did pick up Dota in the roster because the previous 
Electronic Sports World Cup, uh, Dota games have been quite intense, especially towards the end. And um, let's see. As for my hopes on who's gonna win that thing, I think the, of course China. China has a strong chance. Malaysia has an insanely strong chance. I also think uh, Denmark and Germany have the biggest chance. I like to say Sweden because I live there, or Bosnia because I come from there, but lately they've been kind of flaky. But of course Sweden can be really good if they get together the the all-stars. Anyways, uh, this is Darth. Uh, I'd like to do a shout out to all my listeners. Thank you. And I hope you join me next time. Uh, hopefully for a co-commentary. Uh, it's from Darts and uh, GG.